thing on? Y'all can see me out there? What going with you, world? I am your host, Brand Newman. You're watching Tunnel Vision. Come here. Come here. Let me ask you something. Who's your favorite stand-up comedians of all time? Dead or alive? Really don't matter. Well, I'ma lace you up on my top 10. So just sit still and chill. I got you. You know what I mean? Be new. We live and live with the shit. The Mexicans get pulled over and got no license registration or nothing. License registration. Yes. What the fuck is yes? Did you hear what the fuck I just said? Yes. Do you have license registration? Yes. Do you understand English? Yes. Are you fucking with me? Yes. Do you know you're going to jail? Yes. Step out the car. No, 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 no. no. Back to Guadalajara. White people get out the car when the police get out. You hear two doors shut. <laughs> you want to tell me why the fuck you just pulled me over back there? Brenda, get back in the car! Niggas get pulled over and call their mama. Mama, they behind me. <laughs> oh, Lord. I told you to get your light in. <laughs> you ain't got one of them old ass mama. Where you at? <laughs> she tell your daddy, Ray, they got him. Them black daddies be glad you're going to jail. That's good enough for us, Dad. Let him go down there and clean that shit up. This is good. He ain't working no how. Shit, you know, sucking all my goddamn heat and food up. Let him go down there and clean that shit up. This is good. He can get him a trade down there. They got the job. My wife is giving me pussy by the pile. <laughs> now I got to steal pussy. If you don't know how to steal pussy, I'm fixing the teacher. You gotta wait till she go to sleep. You're watching television, you're watching her. You're watching television, you're watching her. You're watching television, you're motherfucking watching her. And they ain't sleep. Stealing pussy is like war. You gotta sneak up on it. And when they make that move, they roll over you. <laughs> then you take these two fingers and you pull the cover off. <sighs> now they're lying on their back. Men, they ain't sleep. You're gonna run into a problem, the panting. When you start to remove the panting, it's gonna get stuck right here. Cause she's on her back. But she'll help you. She'll do something like, <sighs> Now you gotta slide them down, you see. You start sliding them down, now you're gonna run into another problem when you get them at the ankle. When you slide them off, now you got, the legs are closed, but she'll help you once again. Just... <laughs> now, fellas, when you start to penetrate and you get half of it in, they're gonna play, they don't feel nothing. But when you get it in, stir it like coffee. Stir it like motherfucking coffee. <laughs> you don't like the spoon be in that cup? Clink, clink. Go clink, 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 clink. <laughs> Stir that motherfucker like coffee. Now, when you get it in and you start stirring like coffee, that's when she opens her eyes and asks you a fucked up question. What you doing? <laughs> The white man.
man thinks he's losing the country. You watch the news like, we're losing everything. We're fucking losing affirmative action and illegal aliens, and we're fucking losing the country. Losing? Shut the fuck up. White people ain't losing shit. If y'all losing, who's winning? It ain't us. <laughs> it ain't us. Have you driven around this motherfucker? It ain't us, shit. Shit, there ain't a white man in this room that would change places with me. None of you. None of you would change places with me, and I'm rich. Yeah. That's how good it is to be white. There's a white one-leg busboy in here right now that won't change places with my black ass. He's going, nah, man, I don't want to switch. I want to ride this white thing out, see where it takes me. That's right. So when you white, the sky's the limit. When you black, the limit's the sky. You know who Todd Girl is, right? MC Light. And guess what? He got a tattoo on his chest, got MC Light on this shit. And I used to fuck her. There's a lot of light at the end of that tunnel, boy. <laughs> now you want to still fuck with me. Now nah, he messed with me all night, but you're my man. Welcome. Thank y'all for coming. <laughs> We also got some other people in the house I'd like to acknowledge. Lawrence Taylor and Ice-T. And Ice-T, yeah! Ha. Now, what's up? Now, hold on, what's up? LT, right, and Ice-T. What, man, what's up? Y'all got the same mother? What's up, man? What is she, an albino linebacker? <laughs> Yo, yo, you my, you my motherfuckers! Look, some of the things that I do because I never thought twice about them. Me and my kids go to the amusement park. We do the whole park. The whole fucking park, man. 30, 40 minutes. How? Well, I call ahead. There's a concierge they assigned to me. I get to the park, the concierge walks me and my family up to the front of every single ride. I've done it for years. <laughs> Keep in mind, I explain to my kids, listen, this is earned. It's not given. This doesn't just happen. Your father worked hard to be able to walk to the front of these fucking lines. There's rules that go with this. You don't just walk to the front of the line. Rule number one, as we are walking to the front of the line, you do not make eye contact with none of these fucking people in this line. You hear me? <laughs> You keep your eyes straight ahead and you don't fucking look left or right until we get to the front of the line. These people are gonna say things. They're gonna say a lot of mean things about me, you, you just ignore them. Fucking ignore them because guess what? When we're in our car, we're headed home, we're never gonna see these people again. You know what these people are gonna be? They're still gonna be in that fucking line, to be honest with you. They're still gonna be in the fucking line. And that's reality. Nigga, dogs 
nothing like the slaves or the animal kingdom. Nigga, I know the rest of the animals would be like, oh, sell out, motherfucker. Do anything them two-legged motherfuckers tell you to do. Because a dog just like to say, sit. Yes, sir, master. Roll over, eyes are rolling. Fetch the stick. I don't know what you want it for, but fuck it, I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't stand a dog. And I think people that have dogs need a lot of affection. Because you know when you get home, your dog run up on you. <laughs> Where you been? I miss you like a motherfucker. Want me to lick your ass? <laughs> Come here, let me suck your dick. Here, fuck me in the ass. Look at that. I can't take that much affection. Get the fuck off me. You know what I'm saying? I got two cats. I like cats because cats are independent like myself. I don't need all that affection, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cats don't play that shit. Try and tell a cat to sit. <laughs> nigga, a cat gonna look at you like... All right, motherfucker. I'm gonna tear these curtains up till you figure out who's running shit around here. Put some food in my motherfucking bowl. I was so mad, I called Richard Pryor's house up and said, yo, Richard, Bill Cosby just called me up and told me I was too dirty. And Richard said, the next time motherfucker called, tell him I said, suck my dick. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Whatever the fuck make the people laugh, say that shit. He said, do the people laugh when you say what you say? I said, yes. He said, do you get paid? I said, yes. He said, well, tell Bill. I said, have a Coke and a smile and shut the fuck up. Good. <laughs> the jello pudding eating motherfucker. Bullshit. Bullshit. My dick. <laughs> People in the audience get hostile. You drunk, motherfucker? <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, yeah. I don't believe that shit. Oh, you don't have to. I know you ain't gonna believe it because you fucked up. <laughs> I, I don't. Hey. Shit. I probably die tomorrow. <laughs> Trying to slow down, you know. But it's different. Don't do that. Well. Fucked up, Rich. <laughs> Motherfucker, you go home, be fucked hey, up. Yeah. How's your mama? Well, how's my mama? I beg your pardon. I'll slap you in the mouth with my dick. <laughs> One at a time, please. I'm gonna finish with this motherfucker asking me about my mama. my motherfucking life that's all i'm saying i advise you to do the same do shit that make you happy go out and get you some white friends get you some white motherfucking friends you ain't gotta sleep with them but you gonna need them motherfuckers if you go to jail and call your nigga friends these motherfuckers will interrogate you more than the goddamn police did <laughs> they had your ass on the phone where the fuck was you at what the fuck was you doing why the fuck you ain't called me not your white friends. Them motherfuckers will be there by the time you hang up the phone and they'll be madder than you. Just what the fuck did he do? <laughs> Murder? Murdered who? Look, I fucking known him for two weeks. He wouldn't fucking do something like that. <laughs> Gotta love white people. I don't give a fuck what you say. White people are friendly. You can call them motherfuckers up at 3 o'clock in the morning with the wrong number and they won't even be mad at you. They just... <laughs> Hello? No, I'm sorry. No Shaquita here. Well, what number did you dial? <laughs> no, it's a nine, not a seven. <laughs> we'll try it. If it doesn't work, call me back. We'll figure this thing out. <laughs> I was coming from overseas, and uh, I don't know how this guy got a machine gun on the plane, but he stood up, man. He said, everybody, get on the fucking ground. Nobody look at my face. 
I started freaking out. Because he was Chinese, I was like, why is he talking like that? <laughs> he was screaming and crying. I was the only brother on the plane. Well, I, I thought I was the only brother. I looked over, there was one other black dude. He was from Nigeria. I, I looked over to him, he was looking right in my face, man. He didn't say two words to me, he just looked at me, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't need to talk. I knew just what he was talking about. I looked right back at him. I was like, <laughs> some white dudes on the front of the plane seen us. They were like, oh my God. I think those black guys are going to try to save us. Mm -mm. We were just communicating that we understood the situation. We were both seeing the same thing. What we understood was simple. Terrorists don't take black hostages. <laughs> That's the truth. I have yet to see one of us on the news reading the hostage letters. Um, mm. They is treating us good. Uh, we all chilling and shit. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Ray Ray and Big Steve and uh, send some new points. You're not going to see it. And terrorists are smart. They know what they're doing there, you know. they terrorists. They know black people's bad bargaining chips. <laughs> they called the White House. Hello? We have got five black... Hello? <laughs> yeah, there you have it, folks. Those are my top ten stand-up comedians of all time. All time? All time. <laughs> And look, check this out. If you ain't agreeing with my list, all you got to do is leave yours at the bottom in the comment section. We can compare the two. I want to see who you like. You know what I'm saying? So, once again, I want to thank y'all for watching Tunnel Vision. I am your host, Brand Newman. Until we meet again, may peace be upon you in your journey. You know what I mean? Yeah. Be new. Cut. Cut it, nigga. I'm only trying to do a big Chris Wallace. God bless the dead, let's bow our heads for a moment of silence. I'm just trying to stop the violence. If we could catch a square triangles and go around, I'm half man, half amazing. The way I throw down, I learned from my mistakes and what I didn't know, I know now. For my time and talent, somebody should make the blow sound. Cause I'm the bomb, baby. So be aware and stand back behind the line, lady. Anytime and every time I'm on my grind daily. They run for cover when they see you on your shine, they shady. But this the way you made me. I be on my boo boo. Everything is new, new. Don't try to focus on me. You just do what you do. I used to push the hoodoo. Who knew? Damn right, nerds, cousin curse. Must be voodoo. Boo hoo, you. Without the hocus pocus. Get your whole cash crowd. Ate by a bunch of locusts. I just hope you notice. I'm so focused. Thinking every day that God broke us. We've been through struggles, might have been this, but they never broke us.